So I have this model that we created in our previous tutorial. You can check the video if you want to model this. And now I want to unwrap this. You have a good UV, a good UV map on this. So first, what we need to do is go in UV editing here. You can go in material preview here to see the materials. And on this material, we want to put a color grid to see if the UV is deformed and everything is good. So first, we need to create the color grid image. So how to do this? You can go on this part and here you have new to create a new image. Create new image and then generated type. We need to put color grid or you can put UV grid if you want. I prefer color grid. Then the name, we can rename color grid. Click OK. Now you see we have the color grid image here. And this, we only created an image in our blend file. So now we need to put this image on this, on our object, on the materials. So click on this, go in material properties. Also, you can do tab to go back in object mode. In the material properties, create a new material here and we want to have the image in the base color. So here in the base color, you see you can change the color. You can click in the little on the little dot here and choose image texture. And we want to put our color grid image. And here we need to select the color grid, the image color grid. And then you see we have the image on this, but it is all deformed and all weird. Maybe you have another one. So we need to unwrap our objects. So the cube here. So we need to tab edit mode, go in edit mode, and then we need to select edges. We want to cut so we can unwrap this image and have it flat. Not unwrap the image, but unwrap the faces of our mesh. So we have it flat on this side and the image is not stretched when it is wrapping on our object. So what you can do, go in edit mode and then you can select the sharp edges. Select, select sharp edges here and you see it selected all of these. You can here select sharp edges, you can change the angle here it is at 30, you can put more or you can put less. I'm going to put um, maybe like this. So I have this selected and not this here. And then I have all the edges selected, right click and I can do um, mark seam to create seams on this. Now you see the edges are red. And I can do A to select everything and then I can unwrap all of this. U to unwrap. Unwrap. And now you see I have this on the side here, the UV of my object. And I can check if it is deformed. And if you have modifiers, you can um, disable them in the viewport, modifier properties, and I have a subdivision here. I can hide it here, like this. And now we can go back in object mode and you see I have cuts here. So if your render is like this and you don't want this cut, we need to deselect these. This edge we don't want to be a seam. So Alt click, I have this selected right click and then clear seam and clear this and we need to think about how this part is going to unwrap so you can a select everything you unwrap again now this part is better if i put back the um, subdivision this is not deformed and i can do the same where there are cuts um little weird cuts for example this or this. So I can select these. Only 
um, this this part right click I can do clear sim A to select everything U and wrap now it's like this I don't have a cut here I can also do this here you see all of the faces are cut here and it is a little weird here a little deformed so I can get this one and have only one seam for this because it is a cylinder so we only want one cut then it can unwrap so we don't need all of this so alt click shift alt click so we don't we only want this one so if your render is for example like this and we see this part you want the cut on the other side here so i'm going to do my render like this so we don't see the cut here so right click and then clear seam here i can do the same on this part I only have one right click clear sim and a u and wrap and now you see it is way better here it's not stretched and we can see the grid like this and now the uv look like this and you can put now textures image textures and they are not going to be deformed so i can go in material properties and i'm going to get another image for example this metal that i downloaded i'm going to get the image the color here open image and now you see the texture is not deformed like this if you want to learn how to sell your 3d models online I just posted a new course it is a complete beginners method on how to create models that are going to sell on marketplaces how to optimize them how to export how to upload how to create the 3d view everything from the start to the end on how you can sell your 3d models online you have a special discount you have a few days left to get the discount on the course so you have all the links in the description and I will see you in another video. Bye.